for the Rough Riders. James Norton gets the nod this evening. Four Cedar Rapids, 6'4", 183 pounds for the Scarborough, Ontario native, 9'4", 1 and 2. Record 2.63 goals against left-handed catch for Mr. Norton. For Chicago, very interested again. The Q-man, Quinn Sigurdsson, who was dazzling last week. Two out of the three wins Quinn picked up. It was excellent. And Luca Cloutier was magnificent as both of these goaltenders giving the chance right now for the Steel to lock up a playoff spot amongst their teammates. The boys of faith, led by Michael Hage, Charlie Major, Mick Thompson, and co. Final meeting between the Rough Riders and Steel. Moments away, Chicago two and one versus Cedar Rapids this season. By the way, Sigurdsson record three and two in six appearances, but he stopped 25 and 27 in Lincoln last Friday evening. And then he stopped 34 and 36 on that Wednesday night win in Green Bay. It was in the third period in a game to steal. We're up 4-1. Uh, it was spectacular. A ton of grade A chances. Looked like the Steel took their foot off the gas. And for Sigurdsson, I thought it was just a big game for him again to on the road in Green Bay to just face that flurry of opportunity. And then Lincoln as well. And he's really just been fun to watch. Really calm guy in the net. And so you got to think at least tomorrow, Steel are going to go against the tops in the Eastern Conference. Luca Cloutier against Dubuque. And I really admire that with the Chicago Steel. Just giving their guys a chance here. Sigurdsson, who deserves the call, will get it for the Steel. We'll jump into our Comfort Inn Suites. Keys to the game presented by the newly renovated Comfort Inn Suites in Geneva. Okay, right around the corner from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. Team Hotel of the Chicago Steel. Commentary, breakfast, Wi-Fi, use of the indoor heated pool. Hot tub, exercise room are all included in your stay. Contact Kim McNamara at 630-208-8811 or email sales at comfortingeneva.com. The Comfort and Suites Geneva is the team hotel of your Chicago Steels. The Steel hit the ice from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. Chris Tubiel as the Chicago Steel starting lineup. Take it away, Chris. And now the starting lineup for your Chicago Steel. Starting in goal number 30, Quentin Sigurdsson. On defense, number 25, Thor Bufflin. On defense, number two, Chris Abel. On left wing, number 14, Mick Thompson. On right wing, number nine, Charlie Major. At center, number 19, Michael Hage. The Thanks, Chris, as the steal. 24 wins, 23 losses, three overtime losses, four in the shootout. And the Rough Riders meet for the fourth and final time. We are honoring our nation here on Military Appreciation Night. We're taking it back to ice level for a special presentation. Fans, at this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps and turn your attention to the Zamboni entrance. Presenting tonight's colors, please welcome BSA Troop 66. Fans, earlier today, the Chicago Warriors played a benefit game against Team Peretti. The Chicago Warriors team is comprised of veterans who have been injured or disabled in the course of their service. Please welcome members of the Chicago Warriors joining the steel on the ice for tonight's national anthem. We would also like to recognize the Aurora Fire Department for providing us with the American flag displayed by steel players during tonight's national anthem. 
please remain standing as Johnny Barone, who served as a senior airman from 1991 to 1996, honors our nation with the playing of our national anthem. <laughs> Fox Valley faithful, absolutely loving it. Here on Military Appreciation Night, Mark Citron, voice of the Chicago Steel here with you as they gently pull the American flag off the ice. Wonderful stuff from the Fox Valley Ice Arena Steeler wearing these Military Appreciation sweaters this evening presented by Ozinga, and you can bid on them. They are just fabulous looking, very reminiscent of 2021, I believe. It might have been 2020. Just every year, great job these people do uh, creating these sweaters, but they're just they're really slick, and as most broadcasters would say, I can read them, but no, I think they're really, really cool. And we do have a celebratory puck drop um, before we join this one. Back to center ice, Katie Sack is standing by. First, we welcome Terry Bell on behalf of tonight's sponsor, Ozinga. Light armored reconnaissance Sur Sergeant Terry Bell served from 1997 to 2001. He was attached to the Lincoln Battle Group deployed two times with the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Special Operations Capable, USS Anchorage and USS Essex, earning a Humanitarian and Operations Service Medal and a Naval Accommodation Medal. <laughs> Terry, please do the honors and drop that puck. Next, we welcome senior military police sergeant, Jeff Radley. He began serving in 2001 and has been deployed to Afghanistan, Iraq, Djibouti, and Cuba. And he continues to support military members through his continued service in the Illinois Army National Guard. Jeff, please drop that puck. Time to play the game. Thank you once again. Wonderful stuff from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. Mark Citron, voice of the Chicago Steel. To all those that have served, currently serve, 
or have for whatever country it may be. Here from Geneva, Illinois, I applaud you. Tip to the camp. And now it's time to battle. Officials this evening, Andrew Rasky, the lone official, Bryce Fetzer, Christian Johansson on the lines. Rough Riders and Steel separate these two teams by exactly two points for the last playoff marker. We all know that. One game at a time, the Rough Riders model, the Steel model. We want to play better every game our way. We don't look at the standings. Michael H. And it's Fenner with Riley Basson. We're underway as Riley Basson, son of Bob Basson, former NHLer. We're underway. Rough Riders jump deep and they ice the puck. Approximately 10 seconds in. Yeah, Bob Basson before my time a little bit in terms of his career, but regardless of me. 765 career games in the show. 232 points, 88 goals. He I mean, wasn't a big fella either. Was Bass and his, his son. 5'11", a buck 65. You'll hear him a lot tonight at Frisco, Texas. Face off in the Cedar Rapids zone. A clock went off the clock. And they're, apparently they're going to... No, they're going to correct it here. Nonetheless, stealing these beautiful sweaters here this evening. Presented by Ozinga and off the faceoff. We had some clock issues last weekend and two weeks ago or what it was and we're ready to play, but that'll do it for that icing as Hage will line up again with Basson. Puck drops, Charlie Major, the boys of Faith line. Mick Thompson and Michael Hage, each in the top 10 in the United States Hockey League. However, they are tweezed off the puck, and the Rough Riders, who lost last night, if you're just joining us, throw one to the net. Sigurdsson fights it off. Sigurdsson won two of the three games last week for Chicago. Clutie, the other Rough Riders keep one in here, and a great stop there. Larrigan pumped one. Blocker stop there. And by the steel netminder. Quinton Sigurdsson, we're 45 seconds in, no score. Charlie Major will surf over the line, brush a pass to Thompson. Thompson knocked into the boards. Puck flares ahead as the Rough Riders, Benjamin Mutherspot, Hans Martin Alvemi, the former steal forward. Alvemi, four goals his last three games. Well, he's got 16 points since that trade and he's looked great from what I've watched as this one into the mitt. Alvemi speaking of the devil there threw the puck to Loa Milfers and it's gobbled up in the glove by Sigurdsson but no Alvemi in 27 games since the trade 16 points 8 goals 8 assists for Chicago he had 24 games and 6 points 2 goals but he's really fit in nice I think for the Rough Riders and Mark Carlson who there's a trip here on Tyler Clean. There's Joel Shelberg, nice it down low. Vemi's pass fancy, but picked off by Tylek. Emerson the other way. We'll get to these sweaters in a moment, folks. And again, we'll get to the details on the bidding as well. For military appreciation, I rough riders here over the Chicago line. And there's another soft contact we play on in the steel zone. Looks like a trip potentially, but we go the other way. Lean the charge, Tobias Omen, no score. Minute 55 in this one. Board battle as Omen will maneuver this puck around the horn as Amin Ajibi will reverse Rough Riders on the attack. Again, the, um, for me, this first period I think is gonna be Incredibly crucial to how this game unfolds. Rough Riders, they had a heartbreaker last night, loss against their Cowbell Cup rival Waterloo. Steal the other way. Reiniger on the rush. So can't connect on the passes as this is flared to center. Steal. Yurichuk back pedals to fetch. Fending off a couple of Rough Riders in the wind. Slipic trying to take a pass. Immediately eaten there from Donovan Hamilton. He'll swing it. Far defensive zone. And Shelberg will knife it ahead slowly into the steel zone. Caught. Kaysen Musket pushes Caught. 
No score yet. We're in the steal zone. As Gorski and Arneson battling in the thick of it. Puck, Aiden Welch into the boards. Rough Riders bringing the body. Groenwald swipes right. Puck off a body there, and the steal will pick it up with no score. Shots, 3 0 Rough Riders. As Groenwald, far wall now. As Nico Tiernis will turn the puck back behind the steel net. 16-37 in the first. Only the fourth meeting between these two teams. Still 2-1. Two and one. They lost the last meeting on February 10th. Alvedmi two goals against this former team as the Rough Riders and Steel making changes. Puck pin there and O'Connell over the steel blue line will tip it deep. Chicago cuffs D to D. And now it's Thompson full rush for Major. Left to Sachin. Thompson trying to deliver a major pass there, slurped wide. Major toward the base of the right corner, popped the puck free. However, O'Connell off the rush, took it away, and Zach Sharp up into the rush, went the other way. Quickly, Major able to take it back, slide and tops it. He'll tow it to Michael Hage, points in eight straight, 13 straight home games for number 19. Number 19, Coils fakes the shot, stutters in. He hit the bar, he hit two of them. He said the puck was in. I don't know, Mississauga Snake. It hit a couple pieces of pipe, and the play continues. Pin the other way. Wow, and Hage really starting to come together as we get a broken twig. Chris Abel is defensive zone. No score yet. A little more than four and a half minutes as Hage down the right wall here. Down to Tobias Oman. The Boys of Faith line is going to go off here. I love when uh, Mick Thompson's father. DT said so it's a little bit overkill. <laughs> the boys have got to love it. You know, with eight to go, still in the final playoff spot by two points. Every day it's subject to change. Emerson fending off pressure. He's looked for a license play as the puck spins to center. Alvebni cancels out with Omen. A couple of fellas from overseas, Norway. And Tobias Omen, the Swedish native. There's no score yet. Still drill it behind the netminder, Mr. Norton, James Norton. We'll play the puck along the far boards. Coughed up Resendis. Good check there from Eric Called on Omen. Freed the puck in the Rough Rider possession with 14.30. No score in the first. Ajibi will look for the lead pass. Former Green Bay Gambler. Nice pickup there earlier in the year. 40 points leads the way for the Rough Rider. Steal the other way. Yurichuk disrupted off the puck. Kaltz reverses behind his own net. As Steele, great play away from the puck. Del Greco, he finds a scene to Gorski. He's in. Oh, beneath the dots and a tip to Yurichuk. Just chunked wide. Del Greco on his knees trying to make a play as Isaac Johnson skitters out of trouble. Then he ran into Yurichuk. have seen it the last couple of weeks with Yurichuk, but now a blatant puck given away. Stopped in tight there, Sigurdsson. Looks like Resendez, who broke free on that loose puck at center from the worker. Yurichuk on the forehand, just denied there. Sigurdsson remains scoreless. Steal the other way. Khan drops on the right wing boards in the offensive zone. Del Greco takes a pounding, makes a pass to Cardilli, spins it deep. We'll get you all the details when we can. Very, uh oh, give it away in front. Backhanded stop off Wilmot there, Norton. Just like that, a chance out front of the net and is Groenwaltz. The defenseman. Trying to tip the puck towards the steel line in terms of, I don't pay too much. There you go, Cards. Anthony Cardelli, nice check of the red line. Was going to say NHL Central scouting. Grown while the defenseman is the highest ranked, but as we know, not all scouts do their homework. Seven minutes gone in this one. No score, Abel. Fluid pace to this one. Abel gets it back down the right wing wall. Fends off Shelberg. Threw it to the mouth off the... Stick of Norton, and now the steal. We'll zip it to the point, tops it. Now top of the slot, Hage dripping. We'll try to pour it there to the far corner. Thompson's pass off the official. Ricochets down behind the net. Major to Haiti, right point. Now Hage filling in for Haiti. Pass in real estate there. A couple Rough Riders break free here on the intercept. Larrigan shoots a wrister, stopped by the glove of Quinton Sigurdsson. 12-24 in the first to play. No score from the Fox Valley Ice Arena.
You're listening to Chicago Steel Hockey. Mark Citron bringing it right to you. They're actually looking at that Michael Hayes shot again. And a nice fellow there in Green Bay the other night showed me all these different angles. He says he watches games from home occasionally from his couch and from the rest center. Just a ton of camera angles as they look. They're looking hard here, folks. They've been looking at this Michael Hayes shot that went off a couple of posts. The official really, really taking a long look. For everyone right now at 12:24, no score yet in the first. As the Steel Ice Crew said, it's a. <laughs> they're right by the officials. They're saying, they're saying a goal. But, oh man, I my again, my first thought was no. But I've I've had some illusions up here, for sure. There was one earlier in the year that was. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget our hockey ops director, Pete Tummy, said he'd bet his life on it because he's only about 18 feet, 20 feet from me, and uh, we were both wrong. So I, I just stay out of this. But, again, my theory is the longer they look, as one official point something, and they have the call here, folks. And it's a goal, folks. <laughs> Michael Hage. Wow. Takes a bite at a time, and the Rough Riders, we're going to rewind the clock. one nothing steal. Folks, this happened minutes ago. We've had a really good pace to this game, and Michael Hayes, once again, this time slithering toward the top of the slot, takes an extra step further, fakes out and coils left. And so we're back to 15.46 in the first period, and the boys of faith again strike as there's my man Noah on the on the Tron having a good time with his grandfather looks like he's a military vet great people here are steel season ticket holders so that is fascinating there's a first one nothing steel 1546 now to play here in the first Chicago wins the draw as Hage the goal scorer wins it to Haiti and float it deep and for Michael Hage point 66 goal number 31 He's got goals now for Hage. Points in nine straight, five straight. As the puck, got to even double check that. I believe for Michael Hage, and this Thompson chips right to Major. Top of the runway, Hagen's one nothing Chicago to Haiti. Shot, oh, that was just inches away. And Steele follow up here. Hage, toe drag, finesse as it hit a twig that was lost, but Steele away from the puck, get a nice look here. Hagen shoots. Blocked off Gronwald. Hagens follows up. Base to the left dot. To the point. Thompson. One on the steal. 14-54 in the first. Curtailing the blue line. Thompson takes a check from Millforce. And slides behind the net to Hage. Great shift here for the steal. Hagen shoots. Was off a leg. Got it back again. Shelberg on the block shot. And as Hans Martin Alvembe. Good coverage there. Hage lost the puck. Was forced out by Millforce. Haiti at the red line. Steal. Haiti will sweep it in the left corner. Chipped by Cedar Rapids, but Owen Tylek plugs it off the top of the boards. Gronwald fields. Puck zooms in the Rough Rider defensive zone as it's finally hammered ahead by Shelberg. 34 points for the defenseman. Quietly sound year on the back end for the Rough Riders. As Hajibi looks ahead, his pass just out of the reach of the intended receiver, Landon Resendez. Another promising rookie forward icing against the Rough Riders. One only steal. 5.58 in this one. Well, we got a lot to get to. We'll get the helpers when we can. But fascinating stuff coming from the break. And it was funny because the Vibe called it. He said, that's a goal, that's a goal. And usually those guys, even if they think it is, it's not. But Hage pacing himself third in the USHL. Matt V. Gritton continues to have that department. But we'll see, folks. These two teams, well, Muskegon and the Steel play late. Again, we're not about points per se, but just you got to recognize what this Steel team doing. I mean, they didn't have anybody in the top 20 of scoring January 5th, and they have three guys now within the top 11. Thompson in 11th, 
in the league as Chicago wins the draw. One on the link. Con a shot. Oh, that changed direction. Slipic got a piece and hit the left pad of Norton. Steele working up the board since the goal here. It's another ricochet chance from Con and Slipic again on the coverage is denied by Norton. Doesn't look like we're going to break because we used it on the review. And for Michael Hage, he's now, yeah, get goals in now five straight. But 17 points coming into that point streak over the last eight games, making 18 for Hage. 31 goals on the year now. one nothing steal, Del Greco. Clean win on the draw. Slapper from Reiniger fought off Norton. Five-hole look. Shots are 5-4 all of a sudden. Rough Riders score the more that matters. one nothing steal. Cedar Rapids zips it ahead. O'Connell like looking for it. He almost caught it, and they actually call him offside. Yeah, it was just a fortuitous little drip play from the defensive zone. We're seeing a little bit of that more as well, where they just kind of arch the puck slowly instead of icing it and it leads to a look and for the Rough Riders a uh, chance, one nothing steal Michael Hage I mean since that the first of the year he's only been held off the score sheet three times in 23 games, three now points in 14 straight home games, our Midwest orthopedic player to watch off the review makes him one nothing steal above the steal line now it's Lucas Sachin on the faceoff, Rough Riders with control here. Welch, Musket, Tornis out here for the Rough Riders as Hudson Gorski gets the breakout going for Chicago. Back and dumped in by Sachin. This one, a potential icing. Gorski's got to hustle back, and he does. Nico Tornis, good hustle as well. Trying to get to these sweat military appreciation sweaters, folks. www.chicagosawagiteam.com. Benefiting the Wounded Warrior Foundation. Well, it doesn't do some, a lot of you justice at least a few years ago. You don't know what those ones look like, but they're a camo blood red and black. So cool. They have an American flag on the right arm, but five white stars and black pants, black trim on the hips, and... and as Michael Hage wins the draw here to Buffalo in Buffalo offensive zone, shoots, fought off Norton. Now a chance Gorski and hit the right pad of Norton. Puck is slowly smeared to Welch here the other way as Welch tried to chew a two on one. Buffalo took it back but gave it right away here. Puck in the hash marks right now. Buffalo will scoot behind the Chicago net. One on link steal. 12 35 period number one as Michael Hage. Left to Major over the Rough Rider blue line to Hage. Swirls far boards taken down on a check from behind from Joe Schiller. As the puck is dug back to the neutral zone ice. Fetched by Abel, defensive zone swipes to Michael Hagens. Right to Major. Now Thompson darts a pass. That's broken up here by the Rough Riders and the Neighborville native Zach Sharp, but it's Resendez. Good speed for the rookie. As he'll plug into the left corner, steal end zone, one nothing Chicago. Rough Riders back on the forecheck, throw it to the front of that. Thompson is there, tip to Sachin, lurking ahead. Trying to tip it deep, and in the neutral zone, thud off the boards into steel territory. 11.45 here in the first. Ben Wilmot guiding a pass from Hagens in the offensive zone. Slushied out by Muthersbaugh. As the Rough Riders... Pony up here defensively. Arneson jarred into the boards. Puck skirts as Cronwald will just ladle it back to center. As this one darted by the steal. And Chicago. Sachin enters right wing wall, follows up in his own dump in. 1 nothing Chicago. Reidinger, great keep. Met his grandfather, his mom earlier in this one. Great people. As this one iced by the Rough Riders. And we get a whistle. Quiet from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. One nothing steal. I'm expecting this game to, to heat up. I mean, I think the Rough Riders, who were pretty decent in the first few minutes of the game, but they called the goal back. It's Steel have had the momentum push here in the four check and in the offensive zone. One nothing lead. And you want to keep building off that. 
as Michael Emerson will take the face off against Alvebni. Alvebni won it, but the possession here, Emerson keeps going and he almost had a look to the net. Hamilton a diving effort as Emerson makes a pass to Reininger toward the blue line right to Haney, fires a wrister. Now by Norton with 10.48 in the first. As Chicago will change defensemen here, courtesy of Michael Hage's 31st goal of the season. Hudson Gorski. And the numbers as well in these military sweaters, beautiful. It's a really good sort of GI font, not just for the broadcaster, but for your own possession, folks. www.chicagosteelhockeyteam.com. Again, these sweaters being auctioned off to benefit the Wounded Warrior Foundation. One of the steel, Scheller will twist the puck out here. Back into steel territory, taking away Rough Riders. A look, oh, Larry getting a one-timer denied, Sigurdsson. Tylek escapes behind the net. Gorski, Kahn, oh, head of the passes. Air mailed a bit, Steele away from the puck here. Really good stuff. Just the battle, the compete so far as Tylek keeps it going now. Tobias Oman skating, puts on the brakes. Left wing circle, Gorski lobs it to the far corner. Michael Emerson. Has a lane, fires up high. Emerson thrown down, but Gorski far wall flops to Tylek. Khan shanked it off the far boards, but Gorski one-handing it. Steeler changing as Tylek pumps it on his right foot to his left on his backhand, far wall and a one link steel lead. Didn't get all of it, but this is, uh-oh, too many men. Steel, too many men. They dodge one potentially as Kahn rams it in again. 9.27 the first one on Chicago. Love the four check of the steal right now. You know the Rough Riders, they got a great four check. And we'll see if they get to it as Hajibi out here. Steel D to D with Welch. Meanwhile, Steel approaching the Rough Rider line. Del Greco playing catch. Slipic tails, accelerates, threw it out front. Rough Riders sharp on the breakout. Musket with a GB now. A GB down the left wing, swirls in a great move around the steel defense, fires up high, hits the curtain of the goal. One nothing remains. Chicago, Del Greco, his pass off Slipic. There's Garen Slezik D to D here, defensive zone, Milfers behind the Rough Rider net. And now the Rough Riders as the steel changing off Ebney. Great force and just offside, Milfers there. 8.36 to play, period one. Michael Hage on the instant replay makes it 1 0 Chicago. Even Moronis of the United States Marine Corps. Corporal Moronis served as an infantryman specializing in ground combat operations from 2008 until 2012. He had multiple combat deployments to Afghanistan between 2010 and 2012, and now resides in Montgomery with his wife, Crystal, and his four children. Steel fans, please welcome Corporal Stephen Moronis. Great stuff here from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. Here on Military Appreciation Night, Michael Hage and the boys of Faith. one nothing Steel, 8.36 to play period. Number one, Mark Citron with you. Rough Riders above the Steel Blue Line in dialogue as Olvebny talking with Loa Milfers on what to do. And as the Rough Riders win this face off and go to work, Muthersbaugh waiting for the puck, but Haiti got there first, gave it right to Benjamin Muthersbaugh. Shot from Schiller is nabbed there from the net miner Quinton Sigurdsson, save number six for Quinton. 8.25 here in the first. Rough Riders offensive zone draw. In the Chicago zone. I'm surprised these two don't meet more. I mean, it's not too rough of a drive. <laughs> rough riders, no pun intended. 
As Olvemny gets the warning here, doesn't like the call from the linesman against Hage here on the draw. Muthersbaugh on a set play, puck is one parallel. Muthersbaugh got a piece, Olvemny tied up with Hage. Olvemny thrashes the puck to Milford's far wall. Sharp tips it, it'll roll slowly. Speared by Hagens, back to center with 8.08 in the first one. I think Steele Schiller will back paddle. It's a Rough Rider group that's third to last in the USHL, averaging about 2.94 goals a game. Steele, if you're curious, 3.41. They're 12th, which, I, you know, I thought there'd be more of a gap there, but, again, I don't, I don't those numbers per se, as the steal not in time to tag. And Thompson loving a couple of... Uh, Extra wax there, still smiling, I love it. Talking about the Lady Bing guy, the USHL, Mick Thompson earlier, at least with uh, some steel family before the game, and I'd say it'd be Mick that wins it. Just such a good sport there, a couple of extra wax, nothing too major, but you know, he's just still smiling. That just shows the character of that young man. One thing, Steel, 746 here in the first neutral zone. It's Sachin for Chicago. Against a pair of 27s, Isaac Johnson. And the Rough Riders, Johnson wins it. Back to his defensive zone, Slezik from Shelberg up the boards, and now the puck tails. Sachin to the red line, greets it, picks it up. Slides to Wilmot to his left, Cardilli will jam it to Norton, who fends off the puck, and Wilmot, good body work there from Slezik, and it leads to Sachin tipping the puck. Near wall, Wilmot. Try to giddy it back into the right corner. As a board battle ensues, as Cardilli looked like he lost the wheel and spun out. Shelberg <laughs> saying, my stick is not there. And Cardilli had to unwind himself as the rugby scrum continues up the boards. And now Shelberg, what a battle here with Sachin. There's one in Lincoln as well that lasted some time. Steel, got to get in the thick of it. Johnson has some room now, far boards. Cardelli floats over, and now it's tracked in the neutral zone by Reiniger. 6.43 in the first, Steele making a change. Reiniger hopping, still off. Kahn here now, the puck approaches behind his own net, and he'll fluff to Reiniger. There's a forward crop changing, and now Reiniger, all wheels. Lost the puck in transition as Gronwald looking ahead, trying to catch the steal, sleeping defensively, but recon alert. Pedals it, but right off the boards, Musket. The Louisiana born native floats it to the right point. O'Connell behind the Chicago net. A tip, but called will rush over to the far corner, make a play here. He'll drop and have a lane for O'Connell. Shot to the net. Stop there from Sigurdsson. Six minutes to go in the first, one of Chicago. Placed ahead, and Tobias Oman might have a look here off the rush. We'll reverse to Emerson in tight. Emerson, the wrap. Oh, denied on a couple of twigs from the Rough Riders defense. Beautiful. Wow. Norton was down. He was out. And trying to pick up, I believe, called was one of the guys. Would love a replay. Maybe Groenwald here off the rush, but definitely called one of the two guys that had their sticks down to make this not a two to nothing game for the steal. Big moment to remember right now. Wow, and here's Ajibi getting the lead look, but Slippick read it before and picks it off in the neutral zone, splices Del Greco, pops it ahead for Yurichuk. 5.15 to go in the first, one nothing steal. But back to Groenwald behind the net. Yurichuk on his tail. Now it's Del Greco off Yurichuk, pinballed in front of Norton. And Del Greco a piece now, it's Yurichuk again. He'll slide to Bufflin on the blue line, doesn't shoot. Goes to Gorski to his right, back to Bufflin, pumps it down low. Del Greco with 20 goals in the campaign, has slipping shot zooted wide. Gorski chipped off to Hamilton off the end boards. And Del Greco intercepts, took it away. Sidesteps to the blue line on Joey D. What a plug play, he just flamed out there in the offensive zone and the steal will make a change. Great four check again for Chicago as Hajibi will wind this in the far corner. One link steal remains 420 in the first. Hagen stumps for Abel. Defensive zone, slow pass, but caught by Thompson. Boys of faith alert here. Hage is 31st of the year, one link steal lead. These kids have a blast here in the Coors Light chill zone. 
Yeah, nice big group there, having a good time as the steal right now, trying to pace themselves on the breakout. Hagen's and Abel, as Abel clogged it up, gave it away to Muthersbaugh. Great work, Major, away from the puck, slyly took it away. Major accelerates, creates some space for Thompson to his right. Near wall, and that one off of Muthersbaugh, and it's offside as the steal try to keep it in. I believe we're going to break here with 3.46 in the first, and if we don't, that is totally fine with me, and we're not. one league Chicago face off towards the Rough Riders zone on the right wing side above the Cedar Rapids blue line. No, the steal four check has answered. I mean, totally so far this first period. And it's a one nothing steal lead. Chicago Arneson to take the draw and win it cleanly does Brady over Musket. As Cardilli was tabletop there, Puck will slice into the Rough Riders zone. Slezik picks it up. Nice bump, Arneson forces a takeaway. Cardilli smashing his way through, but pass out of the reach of Arneson. Cross the way, and it's iced by the Rough Riders tentatively. On edge, they're going to wave it off. Didn't hit the yellow. Reiniger first to the retrieval. Haiti swings it ahead. Arneson steers. For Brady Arneson, game 12. He's got two goals since coming back from his injury. Arneson sniffing for more, called behind the net. Picks it up, and with 3-0 in the first, Rough Riders on the attack here. They'll wedge it slowly into the left corner. Haiti on the retrieval. Got a piece. Butters another one, but O'Connell spun it to the slot. Chipped to Shelberg. Has called toward the blue line. Back to Shelberg. Motors right as Resendis. Ninth in rookie scoring. Shoots a stick on puck there. Good carom picked off as Arneson and Wilmot working together. And Ben will ice this one as Chicago needs a change with 234 in the first. One on link steal. Nice. That was the first probably since that goal. The Rough Riders at least getting set up in the offensive zone with puck possession. And they got a tired group here. Arneson with Reiniger getting off in time apparently. Cardilly and <laughs> Michael Hage trying to make his way on the ice and we got band of politics, confusion, the linesmen. I think they know what they're doing. They're just trying to get the right numbers, folks, from that icing call. And so a big face off here is Johnson will take it. Zach Sharp, the Naperville native. At the left point, Hajibi to the left of Johnson and as well, Resendez. False start warning as well. Still getting quite a breather here. Gorski, Kahn, Wilmot, Omit, and it's Arneson on the draw with Johnson. Rough Riders want a penalty for delay a game. They said that that is the second time there's been a warning, but we get two total warnings. Puck drops, Arneson won it. And in the corner, Kahn with pressure from Resendez behind him, quickly worked, but still, did they get their change? They didn't. Arneson can't get to the bench. Kahn, an extra hit in the neutral zone, leads to Wilmot, flashing a look. Uh, shot fought off there, oof. Which deal, that was Omen getting up. Back into the play, Hajibi now. Looking to tie this game here in the first. It's off of Gorski on the pass. Left corner, off a of paw here of Chicago, but not out. It's pretty crazy, these sweaters for a second. Almost had to question Michael Emerson there on that squeegee play. Steele though, get it out right now as Wilmot with a buck 50. One link steal here in the first. Chicago Mission Products, Zach Sharp. Again, Naperville native. As his birthday coming up. Meanwhile, offensive zone is Tylek and Emerson along with Omen out right now, but it's Schiller, defensive zone. Fending off, still pressure. 90 seconds to go in the first. Rough Riders will ploy the puck here and twig it. Groenwald, Muthersbaugh, head over the line as Welch. Couple of nifty moves. One timer, sharp angle stop. Sigurdsson, Olvendi behind the net. Abel got a piece of the puck. Welch delivers right to left. Slezik fires, blocker safe. Rebound wobbled behind Quentin Sigurdsson. Olvendi hustles far wall. Rough Riders setting up. Mulesbaugh, one timer, missed the net. Parallel to Sigurdsson, the puck rolls in front of the Rough Rider bench. Called there to pick it up. 
Fends off H for the moment. Called. Wiggles his way, and he'll just float this into the left corner. First two at Abel. He needs a change, does Chris Abel. Abel, six goals this year, career high. 20 points for Chris. That matched his career high last year. He missed the start of the year with an injury. So for Abel, he's been solid. Again, since the steal, those first 20 games, he's had such a big impact as Bufflin gave it away, but hit Larrigan. And now Abel again will collect behind the Chicago net. Try to tassel Hager on a breakout. Neutral zone line, sharp. Jump started a chance here for Basson, who McJaggers to the right side. Checked by Bufflin, maneuvers the puck behind the steel net. Five seconds ago in the period, Rough Riders. So Connell looking for a clean look, but the steel all around the puck. And you love to see that in the horn sounds. And we get our first intermission report coming at you. Analysis, shots are 9-6, Rough Riders. Scoring the more than matters, one to like steel. And much more to come here. Michael Hage, 31st goal of the season for the Mississauga Snake, has a 1-0 steal lead through 21st intermission report coming at you right after this.
Well, folks, there might be some March Madness going on, but we got season ticket plan madness. Steel fans, reserve your seat for next season. Get five games for free with the Steel's ticket plan madness. For a limited time, enjoy free regular season and potential playoff games this season, plus tickets to a Rockford Ice Hogs game when you sign up for a season ticket plan for next season. Plans start at just five games for 50 bucks. Again, five games for 50 bucks. 855-51-STEEL. Or visit chicagosteelhockeyteam.com to, to, <laughs> to learn more. Don't forget, folks, shop the Steel Online store for a great selection of Steel shirts, hats, jerseys, sweatshirts, and more. And don't forget to visit our online store, chicagosteelhockeyteam.com. Calm. Through 20 minutes, a 1-0 Chicago lead. Well, this hockey game, for a really good pace to the game, and the USHL Player of the Week, Michael Hage, is the only goal scorer. So it's funny because Hage hits a couple of posts, heck of a release, heck of a move toward the top of the slot, slithering left, and... They originally say no goal. I thought it was no goal as well. But Hage called it on the ice, so that's a goal. And that's the first time I've seen at least somebody say that's a goal. And they look at it that long where it, w it was that close. They must have had a really good definitive look or a really close call in a sense of they looked for a decent amount of time. And Charlie Major, the boys of Faith Line, Mick Thompson, Assists to Hage's 31st at 4:14. So the whistle was blown at about like 12:26 at the time. So we reversed and we played three minutes. So that's where there was no stoppages the rest of the first period. But in those minutes, I thought the Rough Riders had an okay start. I mean, they they were getting the four check going, but after that goal, it looked like the Steel just gave them a taste of their own medicine. I thought Chicago did a lot uh, on the four check. They had a lot of looks from the blue line, but. They had a lot of guys moving in front of the net. A couple of flash screen looks, a couple of redirect chances for the steal. Working in the elbow grease is what I call it, in the corners of the rink for the steal and really answering the Rough Riders to their own game. Now, can they sustain for 60 minutes? That's the question. But the steal did one of the more pleasant, at least I thought, periods this year, at least of getting to work, getting into the corners, Bumping guys off the puck, being ready for that counter. Rough Riders look a couple of times to catch the steel sleeping. The steel were alert and ready. And Quentin Sickerson, a couple of decent saves, but honestly, I thought the steel, that just in tune to their defense really set the tone for that period. A 1 0 steel lead. I'm eager to see what this game has more of. Uh, you know, I, I really believe Mark Carlson's team is going to really pony up here and have some physicality. I thought it was for two teams battling at least for the last spot in the Easter Conference. I was surprised that the physicality wasn't at least more prevalent. I mean, we saw some physicality, but I, I, I wouldn't say it was anything of more than none. It was pretty mild of that nature. I expect that this and, and the tempo of this game to elevate those two things, just the desperation, the urgency, the physicality, and we'll find out. A 1 0 still lead, but again, Schottsvich joining us. 9 6 Rough Riders. Hage is 31st of the year. He's got goals in five straight, points in nine straight now, points in 14 straight home games for Michael Hage. And for the Mississauga Snake, 23 points in that now 14 game home span. And since t the year of 2024, he's not been held off the score sheet at home. Michael Hage. It's pretty remarkable here almost at April 1st. Uh, but he's led the way and the Steel have led behind the boys of faith between Charlie Major. He does Major extends his point streak now as Chuck with an assist has points in seven straight hockey games for Major. And he's got 14 points in that span. Seven goals, seven assists right on the money for Major. Mick Thompson, the other secondary, he's got 58 points on the year as Turbo Thompson, I like to call him. 
And the Boys of Faith, a one nothing lead through 20 minutes of play. We'll wrap up our first intermission report right after this. Wrapping up our first intermission report. Mark Citron with you. Well, one nothing Chicago here from the Fox Valley faithful. Let's look around the United States Hockey League and see what's going on around the league. Madison is about to start with the 17s of the United States of America. Steel are in the, you know, they're pulling up, I'd say. I mean, on Madison is in fifth in the Eastern Conference, but as uh, I like to call him, Bad Brad. The announcer for the Rough Riders said in the game yesterday, he said one of the three teams isn't going to make it, Rough Riders, Steel, or Capitals. And right now the Rough Riders are on the outside looking in, but there's still plenty of clock in this one, and there's still plenty of season left in Des Moines. Buccaneers who've been hot at home. They're trailing to the Lancers. They're playing their best hockey of the year. Omaha 3-0 lead early in the second there in Des Moines. Fargo, who pounded Youngstown last night, looking to do it again. Force three, Phantoms one early in the second period there in Fargo. Sioux Falls, a one nothing lead over Lincoln. First minute in play there from Denny Sanford Premier Center in South Dakota. Waterloo, a 3-1 lead over Tri-City. They got some help from the Steel. Did the Hawks beating the Rough Riders last night? Muskegon, a 2 nothing lead through a period of play over Sioux. City, Green Bay, and Dubuque just facing off as well from Mystique Community Ice Center. Dubuque here tomorrow night for our final family Sunday of the season. Michael Hage and the boys of faith, Mick Thompson and Charlie Major assist to Hage's 31st of the year. The steal one nothing lead. We are just moments away from the second period.
bringing it back alive. A one nothing steal lead to begin period two. Shout out to the Rough Rider Nation who's joining in on the broadcasts. Appreciate it. Well, listen, we're trying to debate what's the best bar, and I think we think the, the Rough Riders, at least a lot of people, uh, this season steel club is we're on our way for period two. We just love the atmosphere, love the the community. I'm Cedar Rapids. Let me welcome you on air. Major zips into the offensive zone. We'll tow the puck to Thompson who lost an edge. Got it back here. Curls life's left slot a shot block for Major. Good look from Hage as it quarters around. And that's a hand pass, but Resendez here the other way flying, but Hage took it away in the red line. Michael Hage down the left wing. Major popping in, brushed off by Norton. Resendez off and running period two. Hajibi swirls left, flows the puck, and baseball caught like a line drive there by Sigurdsson. Well, I mentioned if you're just joining us as well, I was surprised it wasn't more physical, and I expect that this game is going to elevate at least physically. And just the intensity. I thought the Steel were fabulous and that compete level. That's really, for me, with this consistency, it's the, it goes hand in hand with the compete level. But through 60 minutes is what Coach Garman mentioned in our interview last week. It, it, it's about that consistency as what a play here. Face off the Rough Riders spin it. Loa Milfers was on his tail. And he made a great pass, but the Steeler out the other way. Emerson leads the charge, looking for a pretty pass, but no one there except the Rough Riders. And Larrigan, the former Lincoln star, but Omen away from the puck, keeps it going. Curling on a backhand is Emerson, who's blatantly hooked up, and we play on. Well, again, a playoff-like uh, officiating here. They're not going to call much. That was a lobber here, fielded by Haiti. Crunches the puck, Steele are spinning off as Hagens keeps it going ahead as Emerson defensive zone, back for Haiti. Base of the logo at center, left for Omen. Back for Michael Hagens, prancing toward the net. Fires, he missed as Haiti was going off for a change and now has to play the puck that spins to the right point. And Haiti back in his own zone with a one link steal lead. Less than two minutes into period two, Del Greco toe drag off of Shelberg who will try to wedge the puck back, but Slippick got there first. Slippick has been on another level the last few weeks for Chicago. Del Greco fending off pressure. Puck squeaks to Reiniger. Maneuvers left. Yurchuk fakes the pass off of Isaac Johnson back to center. One on the steal, 17-52, period two. Del Greco got a piece, but it will... Ember and now high stick, but that's going to be negated from the Rough Riders. Reininger touched the puck here. Milfers has a look. Stick on puck play. Del Greco. Wonderful stuff ahead. Yurchuk gets a stretch. Steal away from the play. Are going to stay on here. Reininger threw a couple of bodies off the backboards. Del Greco. There's Hamilton playing the body. Puck will swarm far wall. Slippick. 1 0 Chicago. Here in the second, Del Greco, this unit has been out for some time. Reininger shoots, tip in front, fake the wrap. Oh, out front, broken up. What a play there, called again. There was a play like that in the first on that wraparound steal to skill. They, they definitely, in practice, working on that maneuvering. Reininger again, flash play, pumped over the net there. Arneson behind the net. What's 16-51 here, period number two. It squeaks free, Hamilton has to laser this. Look out, out of play. As we get a stoppage of play, shots are 10-6, Rough Riders, but it's been a tight game to steal. Offense, is, this is Chicago, is bread and butter. Puck possession, working this team, the Rough Riders deep. As we get a face off here in the Cedar Rapids zone, but this is really it. For the first period and then some change though, this is the first time I've seen extended Chicago Steel hockey. Away from the puck where every detail seems to be in tune. And then you, you fuel that puck possession game. Great work from Slippick, Del Greco. Yurichuk. Steel won the drop. one nothing. Gorski shot though blocked here. Resendez trying to get around Gorski. Resendez ninth in USHL scoring Gorski. 
just soaring. Nice play, but Chicago coughed it right back to the wrong guy, Ajibi. Blasted by Gorski. Puck free to the Chicago slot, and Wilmot's off the other way. One on steal, brushes Sachin to his left. Sachin leaks it in tight for Arneson, got a piece, and Arneson crusts the puck in the far corner. Wilmot jolts it to Gorski on the blue line, left for Bufflin. He'll pedal it on the near wall. One on steal as Wilmot is trapped, and the Rough Riders the other way. We haven't even gotten to their sweaters yet. This color here, it's like a very vanilla-y, but a very pretty white as Gorski takes a Rough Rider sandwich. Gonna have to do it the whistle, folks. Steal the other way with numbers. Bufflin leading the charge. Fires a wrist or rebound. Just to the left as Bufflin peels to keep it alive in the left corner. Hagitz at the left point, getting hounded on there from Loa Milfers, who scored it. His first USHL goal against the Steel. He's got seven points in 20 games. Sears Shelberg the other way quickly. Hagen's back on the rush. Breaks it up. 15-30 period two. one nothing Steel courtesy of Michael Hage. And the boys of Faith line is out here right now. Hage to Major down the left wing. In the Rough Rider zone. Fanned on the chance. Thompson keeps it going though with one hand. Pass to Abel at the point. Fakes the shot. The Libertyville, Illinois native tramples over and... The coverage, Larrigan strips him and goes the other way here. It's an odd man rush for the Rough Riders. Gronwald is in, across. Oh, broke it up there, the steal. Looked like just a blade there in front of Sigurdsson. And I want to say it was a Rough Rider actually trying to play a draw pass as Larrigan lost the puck in front of the steal line. Major here from Omen over the Rough Riders line. Right to Hage, holds on. Behind the net is Major. Major interchanging on his backhand the other direction now. As Hage, the only goal so far in this one, gets the puck back to Hage. Double teams, makes a play to the point. Haiti left for Reiniger. Looks for an opening, has Tylek. one nothing steal, 14-30 in the second. Tylek to the blue line, Reiniger right for Haiti To the net, never got there, off Larrigan. Emerson away from the puck. Maneuvers behind the rough rider net. Omen is there, but Gronwald got the interception, trying to zip it up the boards. The Louisiana native, Kaysen Musket. Out of Voizar City, Louisiana. Can't get the battle. It's Reiniger down the runway. Lost the puck. And he'll reorganize. Reiniger accelerating in the net. Reiniger staying on balance. Incredible as he got clipped in the process. Haiti drops for Reiniger. All steel hockey. A Reiniger wrister is caught into the logo of the netminder, James Norton. Steel remains a 1-0 Chicago lead, 13-50, period number two. Listening to Chicago Steel Hockey. Fox Valley Faithful having a great time here during the timeout. Well, there's that game where you play which cup is this thing under? And it's got three cups and <laughs> good react, good emotions here from the crowd. Let's see. one nothing steal, 13-50 period two. Slipping in the offensive zone draw against Riley Bassett. We get a false star warning against the Rough Riders. Steel just continuing their play here. Of puck possession, great work. Just haven't gotten more than Hage's 31st since that 431 mark of the first for Major and Thompson. It's led to them defensively being sharp as well. This is not going to be an icing as Kahn got a piece of the puck. Tornis fending off Kahn. Oh, big hit into the boards there. Tornis is okay there from Kahn and Bassin. 
with Khan. He wants to drop him to his bass, and Khan says no. Sheriff, I like that. You know, it's not going to drop him all the time. Knows his spots. As speaking of which, Reed Khan flashes one to Norton's glove. Shots are almost even at 10, but this is a tight game, folks. I'm really impressed. I mean, so far, again, the compete, it was there all last week for the steal. Was it all 60 minutes? I mean, pretty close. And continuing into this one, I mean, this, this, we know how important this game is. But we got to get that full 60 here. And Cardilli in the offensive zone assignment. Sachin left wing with Arneson in the offensive centerman position. Hans Martin Elfemni for the Rough Riders. Elfemni, two goals here. All right, but that was at the stable, rather, on February 10th against this former team. So the Rough Riders, this looks like a. I mentioned it before, very pretty, but almost like a Green Bay Gambler alternate where they have that cowboy rugged look as the Rough Riders win the draw, but they plug Cardilli. Kept by Sachin, he'll bake in the left corner. Beautifully well done though. As the Rough Riders pull and drag, it's a shot from Alvedny off the leg. Chris Abel in the far corner, fending off pressure here. I've liked the four check of Loa Milfers. Seven points in his 21st game here this evening. Steal out the other way, trying to give and go. The puck came out. And Chicago here on the back track. Milfers will drag on the far boards between the left wing wall and the left point, trying to play the puck with 12.42 and called here. He's had a couple of big plays, the defenseman at Oyster Bay, New York. An 06 birth year. Steal had a couple wraparound looks called disrupted one of them and then earlier in this period oh, oh look out steal there <laughs> Chris Abel my stick's hot my bad out of play 12-27 here in the middle frame one of the steal but here cue the insert here's how important face-offs are again plays just like that you're casually trying to break it out of your own zone now you got defensive zone draw but steal have been humming the first half of this game in the Rep Rider zone and we talk consistency here all the time can they do it the rest of the way? One link steal. Too close for comfort. Basson will take it against Arneson. O'Connell to the right. And that's Tornis to the left. It's Lucas Sachin off the draw, sweeping the puck to himself. Still in the defensive zone. Will headman Abel. Thor Bufflin now. Scrapes ahead. It's Arneson on the reverse up the boards is read by Tornis and then Wave here of Rough Riders coming as a chance. Stop there from Groenwald. Sigurdsson fond off as the defenseman is to Sigurdsson's right as Sinson poking and trying to alert the steal on potential routes here as the puck maneuvers. And it's now Hagen's through a clump of bodies. 1-0 Chicago, 11.45. Hagen's a nice move, flying in, just missed wide. Steeler changing his age off the far end boards, fakes the shot. Fending off Bassett. Hage trying to maneuver in the right corner. Hage still has it. Trips to Major. Loose score! Mick Thompson on the loose change. And the steal flag from Ronnie Reyes blows in the distance. Mick Thompson has made it a two to nothing lead. Relentless pursuit of pucks, Michael Hage. And the Mississauga Snake always hungry. Fending off two Rough Riders on the far boards. Creating attention. Finds Major beneath the hash marks. Gets an original chance. And on the rebound, Thompson is able to just bang it home. 2-0 Chicago, 11-30. Period two, what a goal. Major at center. 11-24 in the middle frame, wins the puck back to Reiniger. Recon now races to the red line. Oh, hit the lines, Panda. Puck continues as it ricocheted as Hajibi now will break it out. He'll laser this one into steel territory. Reiniger right on the tracks, so arrogant. Such an athletic man there. Chris Reiniger still pedaling up the boards. Boys of Faith unit again. Thompson flashes major, fires wide. Picked off, not cleanly though, as now it's Hajibi again trying to go the other way. Rister up high, razored by Sigurdsson, called another athletic play here. Defenseman is 
pretty big too. Puck zooms out. Alvedny will steal Majors. Going to work it free. Offensive zone spins. Major needs a change. Puck picked off of the Rough Riders the other way. Muthers uh, toe drag power than the net. Contact by Khan legally leads to the steal. Looking the other way. Emerson jolts Tylek in a one on one. Tylek brushes left wing to the net. Great move, and he lost the puck trying to curl in. Emerson on the scrap says, We get a call here coming. Believe against the Rough Riders with 10 15 in the second. 2 0 steal. Emerson looking at his face. First call of the game. 2 0 Chicago. Shots not updated. Doesn't matter. Score on the board, the only thing that matters, and they're going to get Slezik here. And another moment where this man advantage for Chicago, which has really, I think, picked it up another level. Would like to talk to Tyler Haskins because for the first time, I think we can have a conversation and say that's better than fair average. I really like where the puck movement's going with the steel power play. Still in that 20% range, but... In Lincoln, a lot of really different looks. Uh, Saul Hage at the point, who's the centerman right now. We got Thompson at the left point with Hagens right now. Emerson to the left of Hage. And Ben Yurichuk on this unit. 2 0 steal. 10 15, period number two. As the Rough Riders mail out Musket. Slow moving puck, and no one picks it up. So the Rough Riders go the other way, and they'll chip it down. That's what's interesting to me. I really liked Hage at the point. I thought he was so creative for the steal and subject to change. Again, with the development tactics the steal have as Thompson flashes over the line, drops to Yerchuk in tight. Oh, a chance to lose puck there. Still rolling, floats. Thompson scores! Thompson hammers it in. The steal, a power play goal, and a three to nothing lead. 9.45 to play. All guns to the net. Here a Chuck on the delivery and tops it. Hums it by Norton. Well, this one's going to tip off of the Naperville natives. Zach Sharp in front of the net is Tyler Haskins. Fist bumps to Hage, and we talk the new look on the breakout. Here a Chuck is the middleman, he's the bumper guy. What a great little delivery out front. Leads to the scrum. And I mentioned Yurichuk's compete the last few weeks has been off the charts and that's what he's gonna have to do for his career. And it's showing. Well, here the Rough Riders looking to respond. Rosanna shoots off the leg of Bufflin and then out of play. The first half of this one, all steal. Yes, half, 9.33 to go in the second. Can they deliver and finish the second half? 3-0, Chicago. Of the United States Marine Corps, served as an artilleryman from 2009 to 2014. In 2011, Corporal Cush was part of the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit aboard the USS Green Bay, and in 2012, served in Operation Enduring Freedom in Kajaki and Treknawa. He is the Midwest Regional Manager for Merging Vets and Players, where they empower veterans and former athletes by connecting them after their uniform comes off and showing them that they are never alone. He now resides in Homer Glen with his wife, Jessica, and daughter, Winifred. Steel fans, please welcome Corporal Oscar Cush. Thank you, Oscar. Stick taps, even the uh, Rough Rider netminder, James Norton a Sport, tapping his twig for Oscar and all of our veterans abroad that have served around the world. Thank you. 3 0 Chicago, just like that. Still a lot of clock here, face off in the steel zone, but you get the power play goal. Huge. As Musket against Slippick. Musket won it, but it's the coverage of Del Greco feeding it away. It's a frenzy steal. Del Greco on the backhand trying to finish with Yurichuk to his left. Good stop there, Nord. Release to Gorski. Fires it slithered off the post. Pumped up. 
Far board, Slipic with 9.13 in the middle frame, a 3 0 steal lead, just zipping behind the net. Looked out front off a twig as Bufflin fields. Bufflin throws it to the left corner, lips for Slipic, tails it to Gorski. Gorski to the net on his backhand, threw it off Norton. And fending off the pressure there is Tornis, but he gave it to Yurichuk. Yurichuk keeps his stick going, makes a tremendous play. Del Greco curls in. Off a slip it, it appeared. Puck trickles to Bufflin. All Chicago to start this hockey game. A 3-0 steal lead. Bufflin to the blue line. Left to Del Greco. We've seen this unit with Del Greco, Slipic, and Yurichuk have their best game so far of the year. Gorski down low. Bufflin pedals, fakes. Bufflin just... Doing all sorts of tricks here. On a string to Yurichuk. Still change behind the play. Yurichuk, near corner, dodges the official. Spun on in the boards by Muthersbaugh. Yurichuk keeps it going here. Stirs the pot to Bufflin at the blue line. Fires! Puck available. Norton fighting it off. Sachin to the backhand. Sealer changing. Wilmot off the bench will tip it deep. Eight minutes to go in the second. 3 nothing steals. This one tails to the point. Cardilli jams it. Rolls around. Musket will just breeze it ahead. Welch will tip it and get a line change. Abel looks ahead as Hagens pumps Sachin. Left wing. Lucas Sachin tenders Cardilli. It's snagged into the glove there of the netminder. James Norton out of Scarborough, Ontario. Man, again, I am just, this puck possession... I mean, I've talked elements of this team all year, but this is how you play steel hockey, really, and it's fine, <laughs> the coaching staff. We, we haven't had the YouTube published interviews, but when they talk about that, this is what it is. Just you're winning the battles, and you're taking the puck away, and you're trapping your opponents and making them eat for everything they can have. And again, a lot of clock. Hockey's a crazy sport, but... The steal of everything here so far in this one. Well, they've worked for everything they've gotten. We'll get you caught up on all the goal scorers we can. One of them right here, he's got two. Mick Thompson, one on the power play. But Hajibi picks it off here at the Cedar Rapids line. Right there as Thompson intercepts. Braces Hayes looking into the goal mount to Thompson. And tight to the net. And a stop, but we got a call coming up here. Thompson drew it. And I think, again, besides the way away from the puck for Michael Hayes' play here, has been his passing. It's just been sensational to go with his January streak here. Of points at 14 straight home games, points at nine straight for Michael Hage, goals in five straight hockey games for the Mississauga Snake, and he just a, just a really, really pretty outlet pass to Mick Thompson going to the net. And Thompson almost dangled out Norton and, and was able to get the puck by but a great stop from Norton and right now the steal win the draw could be the hockey game one for one you never know steal win as Hagen's in terms of possession to Hage down the runway fakes no stick here for Basson it's broken Hage one timer it's in <laughs> Michael Hage a Mississauga snake Venom on Norton the steal for the Rough Riders, nothing. A power play goal for number 19. 32nd of the season for Michael Hage, and no stick. That's a huge problem. Hage, who just ooh, looked like Norton got either off his shoulder or his all white lid. And Michael Hage is second of the evening, 32nd of the season. More importantly, you win that faceoff. The power play goal was 6.56, the second of the period for Chicago. Rough Riders spin away, sharp the Neighborville native. Taking a bite out of Reiniger, referee on top of it. Puck shuttled in the right corner. Rough Riders need to do something in terms of their desperation. And a couple of bounces there, you get the tough broken twig, but we talked the details. You win the draw. And really crafty, again, the Steel have just been ever-changing their power play units all year. But, again, it hasn't been sort of X's and O's, just simplification. And it's worked. Tylek just drooling in tight. Omen denied in tight. 
by Norton. Oman now to Haiti. Reininger, one-timer, stop fought off Norton. Puck squeegee now as Milfers will hit the Jumbotron at center. With 6.06 in the second, the steal for Rough Riders, not a incredible of a steal, just overtaking this hockey game. And this is, as I've said now three times, how the steal obviously need to play, and it's so difficult to do in this sport. But you get the special teams. You get the goaltending from Sigurdsson earlier in the first. And you get your big guns, the boys of faith, Mick Thompson, two goals. They're going to credit this one to Emerson. They say it changed direction. So Hage gets the assist. But look out. Matt V. Gritton and the Muskegon Lumberjacks. I mean, it just seems like whenever he tries to take a step away in the USHL scoring race, Hage has an answer as this one rattles off the boards from Hajibi. Neutral zone, 5.52, period two. 4-0 Chicago right now as Ben Yurichuk spins. Tips Del Greco and these beautiful military sweaters to Slipic. And this line, talked about it, just has been buzzing all night. Khan at the left point, guards the puck, snaps it behind the net. Del Greco, Joey Del Greco. One timer, and you're a Chuck there. Looked like a GB got a piece. Gorski steps up off Shelberg. Puck floats free to Resendez. He'll just lob it and stick on puck by Yurichuk. Love it. Resendez right back in here, has a look, has a two on one, stops. Gorski with contact, frees the puck loose, steal the other way. Del Greco over the rough rider line. Yurichuk back pedals, top of the right dot. Del Greco in tight. Trying to peel to his back and called, stepped up, and made a nice play. 4 0 Chicago remains. Nice check from Slipic. Man, Slipic, what's been in his breakfast lately? as this one's gonna slide perfectly to Sanchin. Top of the left dot, fires, good release. Left pad stop is made there by Norton, who's really been mentally engaged in this one. It's been a tough one for him. He's played well. Oh, reverse check on Artisan, who is down. And we get in a whistle immediately. Wanna say that was Bass, and I can't confirm on the reverse check, as Jim Schroeder to the scene. With 4.33 in the middle frame, and Arson right on his face right now. And, you know, we've seen reverse checks in the game as Jim talking to Arneson right now. And there's some movement there, but and the officials are going to huddle up. Well, it depends, right, because I haven't seen one this smashing and deliberate. Uh, Arneson just got blitzed, and I, I want to say it was I caught an eight in there. Basson or Slezik? that did it, uh, but as Chris Abel and Ben Wilmot joined the, their teammate, Arneson, who's down, the, the crowd is quiet. Shots are 20 to 11, but Coach Mike Garman continues to talk to his group on the bench. As Jim Schroeder, as he, behind the scenes, would love to, as he always does, just a bench with this organization but doing what he does best here, treating as Arneson gets to his knees. Wow, no, I haven't seen a reverse check like that. The, the question, the only one, I think the officials who are talking to each other right now at center is, was there an elbow in there? You use your, your backside, your tail, if you will, but it looked like I saw a little bit of an elbow just kind of cranked through, but again, not impressive, but pretty amazing to see a uh, reverse check that powerful. And, I, you know, Arneson, I, he was ready for it, but, boy, it just it, it got his head up high. And he gets helped off the ice from Ben Wilmont and Chris Abel here on Military Appreciation Night. 4 nothing Chicago. Jim Schroeder shortly behind the boys of faith. Departing the ice surface here as Arneson. Good to see him on his feet. Yeah, and so that's a tough one for the officials, right? Because you're you're away from the player, so really there's it's not um, in terms of a call because you know how many times have you seen just a great reverse check, right? I, I love those, and you know you see them more, but that was the first one where I really just as Mike Garman's gonna get an explanation, he's not asking for it it seems, but very brief discussion as Mark Carlson doesn't need one. 
And yeah, it's tough to make. Again, you're using your whole body, but you know, you wonder if that at all. Shots 20 to 11. Cedar Rapids has two shots this period. Steal in favor of the scoreboard in, and we get a set play lurking here. Larrigan awaits Basson on the pocket. Sachin oh, chipped into the pad of the net miner. Quentin Sigurdsson back to center. That was, looked like it was off Abel into the pad of the Q man. Sachin, nice pass. Cardilli just sipped one wide. It'll rattle back to center. 4-13 period two. Mick Thompson, two goals. Michael Emerson has the latest goal. Michael Hage scored the first. Long story short. Cardilli will fetch, try to make a play into the far corner. Wilmon on his man. Shelberg with ice in front of him. The Rough Riders are going to have to come back in this one. Passing around. Hagens has a lane. And Larrigan had a really good look. Bufflin looked like he got a piece. Now Hagens delivers. It might be an on man rush. Wilmot leading the charge. Larrigan hustles back on the reverse. Cardilli to Wilmot behind the net. Ben Wilmot. His father in the crowd always has a big smile on his face. As Hagens, great skating in tight. Base to the left circle. 4 0 steal remains. Great play from Thor Bufflin moments ago. It was a great look for the Rough Riders as Thompson. 21st and 22nd goals respectively around the horn. Boys of Faith unit, Chuck Major. Michael Hage took a stick up high. They're going to let it fly for now. It was a brief one. Hage kind of sold it short. A little bit tardy there, but regardless, we play on. Still two power play goals here this evening. Puck held by Haiti. Fires! Rebound available. And falling on the puck is Norton. Steal all in front of the net. We haven't seen that as much this season as we have tonight. Beautiful stuff as Michael Hage is right now giving it to the official. Yeah, high stick's a high stick, but again, I stay out of this stuff now. Pay to politics, and again, you look not just at the score, but it's just that you don't have another official to make that call as well. Because a lot of things can be all angles, 50-50, yada, yada. 4 nothing steal, three minutes to go here in the second. Hage and the boys of Faith out here. Major to his left, tops and right. I uh, just love that Mick Thompson's father said it's overkill. Well, the thing is, on the broadcast, haven't been using it until recently. So, But it's funny because I agree. But uh, All from a country song. Zach Bryan and the boys of Faith. Michael Hage behind the net. Great work for Major. Major skirting with it. Puck protection to the near boards. Major rewinds to Hage. 4 0 Chicago. Hage coiling to his right. Skitters left toward the blue line. Hage looking for an opening. He's got one towards the net. Musket staying with him. Hage threw it through beneath the dots. Hajibi on the coverage with Major. Major got a piece of the puck. Firm to Khan on his backhand. Khan shoots. Blocker save as the tunes went on. I think there's ghosts in here, honestly, as Tornis with 2.10 in the second. Looking to get the Rough Riders on the board. Good shot, and the five full stop from Sigurdsson. Square to the puck. Just the third Rough Riders shot of the period. 15 for Chicago. Score of the board matters. 4 nothing steal. 2.07 period two. No, oh, it's funny because a couple of the fellas who was celebrating Perron last year said there's ghosts. That's at their billet house. And then Slipic said he saw one a few weeks ago. I want to say at his billet house, but I'm telling you, there's there's some ghosts here. Chicago Steel, as we get a false start warning, and the chicken man uh, there shown on Fox Valley Faithful. Well, David E., I'll give it to his passion. He's a passionate guy. And uh, having a talk with Chicago Steel President Dan Lev, which, depending on as we're ready to drop the puck here off Ebony, we're waiting for the clock to function here. A two-time executive of the year, Dan the man left. Meanwhile, still win the draw. A big hit there on Tylek. As that was Milfers, and now it's Emerson looking to go the other way. Just held off there. Emerson to the far wall, fending off pressure. As the steel work, Gorski to Bufflin fires a shot, ricocheted. Hudson Gorski, elevating to another level as well. Uh, we'll talk more about that as here comes the Devil Hudson. Gorski, Elaine, he's in, scores! Hudson Gorski, 
flowing like the river to the net. Fires it behind Norton. Five nothing Chicago with a buck 36 to play in the middle frame. Well, just speaking to him, talking just his frame and the way he's used his body, specifically the last week or two, but so much more confident with the puck. Knows where the puck's going to be, but then on this play, so creative. He, he actually was hard on himself to pass the buff when originally at the point before this thing all started and said, that's not good enough, my bad. And next time around, he gets the puck and makes a heck of a move. Faking out the Rough Rider defense, and this is the steel hockey that Chicago all season long has worked for as Yurichuk takes it away. Now Greco, the Slipic, scoots off pressure with a buck ten in the second, five nothing steal, and it's fascinating, right? As Slipic wins the battle, it's just been excellent tonight. Yurichuk, this whole line with Del Greco off the charts, folks. Again, I, I just, all cylinders are running. And an extra gear slipping, finding a way in that. Trudge is off the stick of Norton. The rebound on the side of the net, and they get the whistle with 42.1. And now Schiller a little rough, but a statement right now from the Chicago Steel of the Cedar Rapids Rough Riders. This game's big as well, not just for the standings, but you win that tiebreaker if these two teams finish tied in points at the end of the year with the game tonight. With the win, still have the 2-1 to one lead in the series, and so a 5 nothing lead here at 42.1. This has been easily, for me, I'm sure the coaches probably agree, the best 40 minutes we've seen from this group all year. And you're feeding off that Three win week last week. Still won the draw. Basson and Sachin are tied up awkwardly here, still in the dot. This one floats to Reiniger in offensive zone. Larrigan's just been there, but a step too far behind on Reiniger. Steeler offside as Sachin over the line. Number 27 with 27.4 on the clock. Period two. Uh, and again, we've talked, we've seen flashes all year, right? And it's just been about putting it all together. We saw early in the calendar year in January where the steel got hot. But kind of just, again, more back and forth at times since and not trying to jump too far ahead, but there are so many positive things for this group and just so many successes that they've earned by working this season. And, you know, you hope that results in a playoff berth. Well, we still have a lot of hockey still win the draw. They're going to say, they say it attentional offside there it appeared or a high stick on the puck but regardless still in the battle areas tonight have been the better team right now Larrigan jumped off the puck there from Reiniger floated right back and out of play by Gronwald as we get a whistle with 9.9 .9. we'll get you caught up on all this scoring in our second intermission report and much much more here on military appreciation night again these sweaters are just fabulous from the Chicago Steel so they feature a unique red and black camouflage base. That is well said with the logo across the front, black trim on the pants with white stars military, uh, saluting our military as the steel won the draw. Two seconds in the period. Presented by Ozinga and bid on them as the horn sounds at www.chicagostillhockeyteam.com. Wow, steel, five, Rough Riders nothing. Shots 22-13 Chicago. We still got 20 minutes to go, but first, our second intermission report. It's all Chicago so far this evening through 40 minutes of play. Second intermission coming at you right after this.
Welcome back to our second intermission report here on Military Appreciation Night. You got a bit on these things. They're so pretty, folks. And again, their proceeds go into the Wounded Warrior Project. It's a unique red and black camouflage base. Steel logo on the front. You got these stars, white stars on the hips with uh, black trim on the shoulders. Really good coloring. And the Wounded Warrior Project, if you're curious, I was works to improve the lives of veterans through programs aiding in mental health, career counseling, and long-term rehabilitative care. The second intermission report is also presented by Tidal Wave Sports. Tidal Wave Sports is a leading supplier of custom uniforms and team apparel supplier of your Chicago Steel with a strong emphasis on quality, top-notch customer service. Tidal Wave Sports is your one-stop shop for all your uniform and apparel needs. Having been founded by and run by hockey players, Tidal Wave Sports is always ahead of the latest styles and technologies to keep the players looking great and feeling great. Contact Tidal Wave Sports today. And the Coors Light Chill Zone and the best place to chill inside the Fox Valley Ice Arena is the newly expanded Coors Light Chill Zone. The Chill Zone. Offers couches, high top seating right on the glass and accommodates 10 to 60 guests. Call 855-51 Steel or visit www.chicagosteelhockeyteam.com to learn more. Well, Steel, we're not chilling in that period. 5 nothing Chicago on what was easily, I think, the best period of Chicago Steel Hockey of the year coming late in the year when you needed the most off a team that's on your heels in the playoff race fighting for the last spot in the Eastern Conference and then more just a remarkable from where this group has come from that, that fall classic in Pittsburgh and through the early start of this year and just the way that they've been able to conduct themselves after winning one game through their first 10 and still got 20 minutes here but let's start from the top so this game started and it was a pretty decent fluid pace to it. Nothing out of this world. I didn't think it was that physical. I was kind of surprised, honestly, after the first that it wasn't more physical yet. And it stayed that way into the second. But beforehand, Charlie Major, Mick Thompson, the boys of faith with Michael Hage hitting the post to post on a wrister and the puck went in apparently. The steal looked like it was out. Uh, but we looked at it, and so we had to reverse. It was in, and we had to rewind to the 15-minute mark. It was at 4.14 of the first for Michael Hage. Again, Thompson major the helpers. The boys of faith added to begin the second. Yeah, steal again. Just they compete in the battle areas. They know what the Rough Riders are going to do. They're prepared, but they keep it going. Uh, they're in the battle areas just... An extra oomph of physicality for Chicago so far. And at 8.30, Mick Thompson on, I believe, is this one even strength? Yes, it is. So just the resilience of Michael Hage, the boys of faith, and Charlie Major. This is Hage uh, beating two Rough Riders on the puck far wall. Had Major in tight at the base of the dot, who let it go. And on the scraps, Thompson buries it. Two to nothing, Chicago. Thompson would strike his 22nd on the man advantage on a fortuitous bounce. It hit off the steal again. Buzz in front of that. Yurichuk, I believe, will get an assist on this. I don't know why it doesn't have any assists on it. Yurichuk was all over this play uh, to begin with. Not, not only in front of the net, but prior to that moment, there was a scrum in front of the net, and the puck torpedoed right to Thompson, who just hammered it home. Three nothing, Chicago at 10-15, and then... Steele, we talk special teams all the time. And I know I asked the question a week or so ago, but when's the last time this team's been disciplined to a point? Tonight, so far they have, but they've also have two power play goals. Michael Hagens and Michael Hage, the original shot, fired a, looked like a slapper or one-timer. I think it was a one tee from Hagens. And the puck rolled by, but they say Emerson got a piece of it. So, again, you add more to the merrier. Uh, a piece from Emerson on the redirect. The puck is in. It's 4-0 steal. That was at 13 4 
So Chicago, they strike three times in less than five minutes, but they weren't done yet. It's This is what's beautiful about it. Tobias Oman, great pass, Thor Bufflin, everyone so in tune tonight, but Bufflin and Gorski on that blue line and Hudson Gorski is able to find the lane, takes his time and rinses it by Norton for his second of the season. It was a really pretty play, but everyone in this group tonight has upped their game another level, but still 20 minutes to play. But right now, uh, you know, you wonder if anything, what Mark, Carl Mark Carlson tells his team between periods. Again, you can look at it as, oh man, this is just crushing, but it really is just one game. And it's only been two periods. However, that's the Rough Rider side of things for the steal. They're clicking on the power play. They're clicking five on five. They're clicking with the boys of faith. They're, click they're clicking with the hard knocks line. Yeah, that's another quote I did want to mention was the Yurichuk, Slipik, and Del Greco line. That's not the hard knocks line, but that is the uh, the line of mixture. You get a couple vets. You get a rookie, Yurichuk. Uh, even though Del Greco's first year in the league, older player, 03 birth year. And you get a guy, Slipik, who's been here for a year plus in his second year. But they've been just, the puck possession, I mean, in terms of just containing and owning the puck, and that compete level is something off the charts. I have not seen a group, at least this a period that was that strong for the steal. They have had a really strong first period as well. Five nothing Chicago, and we'll see if they can put a ball on it in the third period. When we come back, we'll wrap up our second intermission report right after this. Here's our out of town scoreboard presented by. That's my uh, Pittsburgh E's coming out. I did that on purpose, folks. Uh, five nothing here. Steel Sweets, Steel Sweets after a, a offer a bird's eye view of the action and delicious food and beverage options. Reserve your suite for the game of your choice. Ask about our special multi game pricing 855 51 Steel or visit ChicagoSteelHockeyTeam.com. Mentioning a five nothing Steel lead through 40 minutes of play. We're pretty close to starting the third here. Let's look around the United States Hockey League at our out-of-town scoreboard. In Des Moines, the Lancers 3-1 lead early in the third, about five minutes in. 
at Buccaneer Arena in Fargo. The four, the Force three, Phantoms two. See if Youngstown can get back in the game there. 14.30 to go there in North Dakota. Sioux Falls five, Lincoln two. Third period in South Dakota, 16.47 there. Waterloo, a 4-1 lead over Tri-City. They're in the third already at Young Arena. In Muskegon, Lumberjacks four, Sioux City one through 40 minutes, and then in Madison, Capitals one, USA nothing. Early second period there, one nothing to Buku. We'll come here for a family Sunday, four tickets as the Fighting Saints hold on through a period of play to Buku, one nothing lead over Green Bay. The last family Sunday, folks, of the year, four tickets, four hot dog, four pops of waters, four chips, four chocolate pucks for just 60 bucks again tomorrow afternoon. Last call for the Steel Family Pack. 5 0 Chicago. We'll be back in just a moment to start the third period on the Steel Hockey Network. To start period number three, Chicago five, Cedar Rapids nada. Mark Citron welcoming Rough Rider Nation to the broadcast. Well, again, if you're just tuning in, that's at least the steel side of things too bad. And hopefully you don't turn it off if you're the Rough Riders. But, uh, you know, as a broadcaster, you always go, you're never safe with a lead. And, but this has been a statement, two periods from the Chicago Steel. And, and again, you look at the Rough Riders' point of view, similar like the Steel. You take it a game at a time because in less than 24 hours, both these teams will have played another game. So you keep going, right? And the boys of Faith Line, Mick Thompson, Michael Hage, Charlie Major, and they've just been rolling, to say the least. Hage has at least a goal and assist tonight. Thompson's got two goals. Major, a couple of points. We'll get to all that in a moment. They're still figuring out at least Thompson's second goal. Ben Yurchuk will, should get an assist as we're underway for the third, and we're not worried about that stuff here. But, you know, you, st you see after the steal, didn't have anyone in the top 20 of scoring to begin the calendar year. Charlie Major bats one right now to Thompson, to Hage. All three of these guys, Hage at second as Hage unwinds on his backhand off a rough rider. And Major coming into the game, sixth in the USHL scoring. Thompson to Major, off the takeaway from Hage, back door. And it was just throttled by the Rough Rider defense there. Shelberg made a nice play. It's just Hage away from the puck is, after really, I think, the first couple of months, I wouldn't say he was invisible, but when we get our first call against the steal here, it's gonna be a hold on Chris Abel, who his mouth is open wide. He can't believe it. <laughs> As he looks at his coach, Mike Kerska, and just a simple, maybe a uh, holding on to the jersey for Abel. And I, I if you want to blame me, Chris, I, I blame that on the announcer jinx. During the intermission, I said, this hasn't been a game. The Steel been disciplined. And 51 seconds in, they call one against Chris Abel. It's the Cyclone kids are having a, a ball here. Five nothing, but now I want to see if this penalty kill's made of. We've, we've still, 
seen some stagnancy at least numbers wise from the penalty kill as well so that's 68 for Chicago and can the Rough Riders make inroads here to get on the board down by five we're a buck one minute into the third right now is a chance for Larrigan lifts off in the right circle and Sigurdsson eats the wrist shot toward the five hole and no rebound allowed save 14 for Quentin Sigurdsson five nothing Chicago here is able to the box for holding well, linesman a little bit proper. Basson getting some direction on the faceoff, and he's just affirming here. Slipic, Haiti, Wilmont, Con for the Rough Riders. They've got Milfers to the left of Basson. Larrigan behind him. Larrigan gets the faceoff win here, and he'll work to Shelberg. That other man in front of that is former steel forward Hans Barnalvet. Me, Chicago squeaks it free. Down the ice, three Con. The favors. These teams will not meet again, barring an incredible playoff matchup, <laughs> which would have to take Madison and/or yeah, at least for that matchup to happen to not, or <laughs> no, it would be Madison to not make the playoffs. Both teams upsetting in the first round. You never know. You never know in this game. That's why you love it. Steel working the puck free down again. Minute two of operation, Rough Riders special teams numbers have been towards the back of the pack, both 11 and 11 here, respectively on the man advantage, just under 20% at 19. Resendez now will work the puck. Right side as called gets it left to Sharp, the Neighborville native across, fanning on the one-time remover spot. Hajibi keeps it going behind the net. 17.47 in the third, 36 seconds of Rough Rider power play, 5-0 steal. Called, playing catch here with Muthersba. Seam play, Resendez top of the left circle, a few feet from him, Sharp on the one-timer, didn't know if he wanted to maybe pass or shoot, but by the time he did, it was flagged down in the steal. So far, so good, one more rush from the Rough Riders. Sharp, Chicago Mission alum, will zap it left, Hajibi couldn't take cleanly, but Resendez held the line, he got the puck back after he overskated. Hajibi couldn't take it cleanly. Haiti looks ahead and storms the puck down. That'll do it. Kill complete. Abel freed. 5 nothing steal remains here in the third. Well, Dubuque fighting Saints in town tomorrow. We're not looking ahead as this one is off the window in the steel territory. Hagen's on the retrieval with Del Greco working the puck free. Del Greco ladles it up the boards. O'Connell gets a piece. Sacha down here with Wilmot. As Lucas Sachin, speaking of which, Wilmot, nice couple of checks. Puck freed to the far corner. So again, the steal if they hang on. They'll win that tiebreaker against the Rough Riders head to head, but actually the first one is regulation overtime wins. So the combination of that number, which the steal have quite a couple, a few overtime wins. They currently have more than the Rough Riders. That could change down the stretch, but Right, we, we take it one game at a time as Mikey Higgins and Hunter Haiti work. Sachin Sierra has his own blue line. He steers for Del Greco. Steel are changing. Abel didn't touch the puck because his teammates were changing behind him. Meanwhile, Steel in their own zone. Higgins clampered as Cardilli gets a piece. Hage out here as well with Major. Boys of Faith line out. As the Rough Riders, Shelberg steers. Abel clogs it up here. Offensive zone to... Wilmot <laughs> looked like 15 for a moment. Hage made the play. However, too elegant. And in the Rough Riders the other way, Muthersboth tipped by Abel. Puck will raise her as Abel picks it up near wall. Looks ahead, skating quickly and fluidly and just goes to his left for Chris Reidiger. Charlie Major over the line, trying to find his buddy Michael Hage, and we get an offside against the Boys of Faith. I can't wait to hear I say that too much, but you know, haven't had nickname lines and that's great because I like the hard knocks unit too. Right now we got Emerson with Omen to his left, Ty like the right. Five nothing Chicago, 15-22, third period is Khan got a piece of the puck, but now the Rough Riders will start their breakout. This is Khan getting a piece, but Resendez, who I mentioned, 
in the top 10 in USHL scoring a ninth pacing for tonight's game. Quick forward is him and Connor caught on each other actually, but steal the other way in the offensive zone. Omen to Emerson. Omen's got a helper tonight. Tylek out of the reach. Tylek's made some crazy moves this evening. Tylek approaching the blue line. Tips Emerson. Give and go. Tylek on his backhand. Stop there on the blocker of Norton. Omen far boards. Dangle Johnson back to the red line by Kahn. Hudson Gorski to lay a goal scorer. His second of the year beautifully as Omen trailing in. Top of the slot. Rister blocked by Sharp. Larry getting Fending off Omen. Meanwhile, it's Hajibi getting the loose puck. The Montreal native. Stick on puck from Chris Abel. Behind the net, Abel flops the puck. Larrigan a piece. Toys it out front. Bufflin there on the coverage. 14-14 the third as number 25 mails it to the Rough Rider blue line. Shelberg to receive. Tip Schiller. Larrigan through the neutral zone. Picked off by Slipic. And this is, wow, Brady Arneson, I believe, here who was injured. Out here in the third, and this is the first time I've seen him. He took a reverse check in the second, was down for quite a bit of time, and good to see him back out here. I'm actually a, a bit surprised, to say the least, as Arneson, kid's tough. 13-42, we get a whistle here in the neutral zone. Steal five, Rough Riders, nothing. We'll be right back right after this brief break. States Marine Corps from 1999 to 2003, specializing as a personnel clerk. Campos trained at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot in San Diego and served in Okinawa, Japan, as well as Quantico, Virginia. He now resides in Montgomery with his wife, Laura, and his children, Ignacio, Elena, and Eliana. He is a member of the Prairie Band Potawatomi Nation and tonight, he brings the rich heritage and traditions of his tribe. Steel fans, please welcome Joseph Campos. Fans, at this time, we'd like to welcome all active military and veterans to stand if you are able and be recognized. Fox Valley faithful loving it here on Military Appreciation Night. All right. Got to love that. Mr. McGriff there, the usher on pay-per-view. Love that. Ben Wilmont, love this 5-0 lead, but thank you for your service. It's just not enough, again, as I said, to just say those words. It's easy for me to say, but... My hats are off, the applause off the charts for you folks that have served here and abroad and currently serving. I know uh, there's a Green Bay gambler out of Kyiv, Ukraine, Misha Daniloff, and he mentioned last year in an interview, I don't know what the update is from what I know, but his father serving overseas for Ukraine, and it's just, you know, you never know how connected that stuff really can be, and now it's Wilmot on the attack, looking for Cardilly. But, you know, I talked to, because I asked Chris Reiniger's family at least if they, and apparently his great-grandfather does have some military background. And Ben Wilmot's great-grandfather as well. But, you know, it's, it's, it's the more important things in hockey, but we take the sport too, and we escape from a lot of the world, uh, being here and being at the rink and doing what we love best. But... Regardless, thank you for your service. 13-14 period, 3-5-0 steal. Gamblers ice the puck. It's the boys of Faith Unit. Michael Hage off the draw. Slithered one to the net. And Norton, a little extra. Busket, <laughs> a push after the whistle. And the Panda Politics lay a warning here. And Thompson doesn't like it. Seeing one of his boys of Faith there <laughs> to the ice as a a fan there on the Jumbotron getting some love from the Fox Valley Faithful. It's good to see the Fox Valley Faithful having a ball on the weekend. You know, have a good time responsibly, folks. 
Michael Hage again on the draw major behind him as it's one, but the possession Schiller gave it right to Thompson. So you give that one to the steal and Hage as Thompson shot was off Shelberg and Milfors far corner, 13 minutes less now and a 5 nothing steal lead. They just have not stopped. And boy, the coaching staff have been waiting for some time. They have worked with these guys all year and we still got plenty of games to go, but this is what this steel team is capable of. Incredible. And led by their boys of faith. Chuck Major right here down the runway. Left to Mick Thompson. Cruising in. Shot broken up. Thompson follows up with Major. Major headbands as those two like glue. Meanwhile, the pass a little heavy for Hage. And it's Muthersbaugh. Guarded Gorski sticks with him, wraps him down, and throws Benjamin Muthersbaugh to the ice surface. Michael Hage at the end of his shift here, hounded by Larrigan. Hage, so feisty. Just, he's so, his hockey IQ is just so sharp. He knows pressure when it's coming uh, as we get nice hands to steal. 12.03 here in regulation. But he's a smart player and all of these superstars that have come through here, you know, they're all different nicknames for reasons. Like that little twitch, it's funny, I was reading a scouting report from Salabrina. That's a cheetah strike right there, that twitch. He's just got a little bit of a hunt. I mean, he's so good, but that's a different conversation. What makes Hage, I think he's just got the ceiling of a great hockey player. And, you know, away from the puck is the most encouraging thing I've seen out of his game. And, and, the, and the vision uh, is part of the reason he's a snake. But away from the puck, I mean, Michael Hage is... The difference between elite and whatever it might not be. He's an elite hockey player, but, you know, in the, in the show, it's, right, you got to, every shift, you got to bring it and away from the puck. That's Tobias Oman. But that's that's really been impressive to me. Michael Hage went from 0 to 100 in that column away from the puck as Emerson works one to the point. Gorski lets it go, but it changed direction. A 5 nothing Chicago lead here in the third. Gorski unwinds off the boards. Emerson picks it up. He's got Oman. One timer was blocked. Out front, ricochets. Gorski far boards. Norton fought it off. Emerson a piece. Norton in front of it keeps the play going. I love it. O'Connell the other way. Larrigan will get the puck deep. Now him and Oman go at it as both those guys make changes. As Abel will pop this off the boards out of his zone, but Resendez right back in on those far boards. Right wing side, Abel. Drops it off. Nine minutes to play in regulation. Or nine minutes gone here in the third. A 5 0 Chicago lead is Ben Yerichuk. Here in this line, I've loved it. Slippick and Del Greco as well. Slippick and Del Greco on one. Del Greco finds Yerichuk. He can't take the puck cleanly. Yerichuk off the boards. Takes a bump. As called to, I think, has been the best defenseman. Tonight for the Rough Riders, throws one out of play and look out, the Fox Valley faithful over here. As we get a whistle stoppage of play. Oh, I hope the youngster's okay there. As we get a face off in the offensive zone. Five nothing steal with 10.35 to play. In regulation. Rough Riders in Green Bay tomorrow, so I believe they're staying at the hotel there. They could be staying at the Comfort Inn Suites Geneva if they wanted to, but it doesn't make sense really as Abel throws this one picked off by Calds. Here the Rough Riders trying to break the goose egg right now down by five. Abel wouldn't let them do that. Chicago hosting Dubuque, but final family pack of the Years Hajibi leading scorer and Mikey Higgins fending off Resendez took a bump from Johnson. Steal Abel in his defensive zone. Patient lead here to Haiti through the wind at center. Blisters this one D to D Schiller defensive zone looks ahead. Back on the twig of Haiti another element of the steal where uh-oh, Tornis, though, off the work of Musket. Stick on Pock Reiniger on a shot that was funneling towards the hash marks. 
Nico Turnis works it free here to the point of Shelburne. Great hit, Haiti, behind the scenes. Shelburne keeps it alive, right point. Haiti to retrieve behind the net. 5 0 Chicago, 9 17 the third. Sachin plugs it through center. Stick down, Shelburne. And full flight, Sachin a one on one. Fending off by Fentoff by Garen Slezik. And Slezik will overtake the puck and off the near boards. Motor the other way. Behind the Chicago net. Gorski has got a goal. His second, the latest goal in the game. Steel power play two for two. They've killed the only penalty here in the third. All cylinders cranking as Quentin Sigurdsson, all 14 of 14 in the moment. Michael Hage scoring his 31st goal in the first from Thompson and Major. Major and Hage to the boys of faith. Mick Thompson's 21st on the power play. Thompson right now. It's unassisted again. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus. I just believe Ben Yerchuk on that power play goal is going to get an assist when they award that. And if not, we're going to submit a request to the league because the work of Yerchuk in front of the net led to the play of the Thompson off a, gam or a gambler. These sweaters really remind me of the gamblers. Uh-oh. Larrigan twists as Bassin in. Up high. Sigurdsson got a piece, I believe. Rattles to center. That was the best chance the Rough Riders have had all period. And in some time, they've had one or two. I mean, the steal just from the D to their forward crop and their goaltender. Cannot say never too high or too low, but we've, we've been waiting for just a game like this where all cylinders are cranking and now called offside with 7.30 in regulation. We'll take... Another stoppage of play, a steal in control. All over the Rough Riders tonight, 5 nothing from Fox Valley Ice Arena. You're listening to Chicago Steel Hockey. Mark the Trump bringing it to you. Five nothing steal. Seven thirty to play here in the third. Michael Emerson wins the draw over Isaac Johnson. Well, another great crowd here from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. Tobias Oman will tow this to the right corner. Schiller fending him off. USHL vet. That is Tylek. Protects the biscuit, spins between the blue line and left circle to the net. Norton got a piece on the right pat. Rough Riders thrash the other way here. Hijibi to the right as this one is dangled in. It's Shelberg in the backhand. He missed high. I can tell the Rough Riders kind of trying to make an individual move. Why not? You're down five, but a couple of options there. Here's Chicago the other way. Emerson stick on puck, but Abel right back looking for Emerson. Puck rolls to the point. Emerson recycles. Takes a hit by another 26. Amin Ajibi, former gambler, traded before the season to Cedar Rapids. What a what a pickup there for Carlson. His group is now this one in type. It's the man. Speaking of which, Ajibi, but he gave it right away. Slipping through it, looking for Del Greco and the, this trio. Slipping Del Greco and Yurichuk have just been splendid, and now it's Slipping taking it away. Slipic charging in tight. It's Del Greco denied, and now Yurichuk is thrown to the ice, grabbing his left arm, but he's slow to get up. Seems to be okay. Resendez behind the Chicago net, whirls down Haiti. 5.55 in regulation, 5 nothing Chicago. As Joe Del Greco over the line, it's Yurichuk with that biscuit. Rodenwald 
Able to force him off the puck to Colts. Nuthersbach. Punched by Slipic. Tailed ahead in the steel line. Milfors puts on the brakes. Across. Gorski got a piece of the pass. Colt. Just has really, for me, been the most active as it's trail pass. Top by Sigurdsson. In tight on Basson. In the front of the goal mouth as we get a stoppage of play. Shots not updated, but save 15 for Sigurdsson on the evening. Remains 5 nothing Chicago with 523 in regulation. Well, where was I on the scoring? Oh, talking about how Yurichuk needs an assist. I mean, honestly, he does, but Hage and Hagen to the power play to Emerson. Seventh, he tipped it. Michael Hage's shot of Venom is... Emerson got a piece, and now Hudson Gorski at 18-24 the second from Buffalo and Omen, a four-goal second. A huge chapter of why the Steel 5-0 lead. This is thrown to the net from Colts, fought off on the twig of Quinton Sigurdsson. And these beautiful military sweaters again auctioned off for the Wounded Warrior Projects. They're so pretty. I mean, obviously, I can't remember a time when they weren't. Uh, at least military-wise, such cool things to still do, and very similar to the, one, the Clark Cup winning ones. And these ones might be better in some ways. They look pretty slick. It's to whoever your opinion is, but again, you get a great contribution, and you get your favorite sweater. You know, I bet Ronnie Reyes has got a couple of bids in. Steel, big fan, had the flag waving on that. Power play goal is loving it. Two from Thompson is passing over the line. O'Connell fan on the toe drag. Top of the slot pass and plucked by Thompson. 21st, 22nd goals for Mick Thompson, respectively, this evening. As the boys of faith, Charlie Major, sliding in as curled Thompson across to Hage. Doesn't shoot. It decided two, and the puck pondered off the pad in the curtain of the goal. Thompson to Hage out front and went off his skate and he couldn't get a look to the net. Remains 5-0 steal. Welch barging in. Clipped the Shelberg trail play to the slot. And the boys of Faith McThompson unwinds. Drops for Major. Major's in. Oh, deny there was slashed on the play and we play on. Lost his twig there on the coverage defensively but what a drip play. And there's Hage coiling down the left wing. Fires into the gut of Norton, and he'll hang on. Oh. Poise of faith unit, man, just lethal. I mean, how many looks there? The one off the skate of Hage, and then they rewind, they go right back in the drip play to Major. And then on that last rush, a great look for Michael Hage, who could have easily slung one by. And again, that's what I love about this one tonight. You got Gorski's got a goal. Hage has three points, one goal. Thompson, a three-point night, two goals. This is cranked out of play from the defensive zone. The Rough Riders with 324 in regulation. Major's got two helpers, extends his point streak. But, you know, everyone's chipping in. And we'll get to that in a moment. Shots are 27-16. The Steel have not had this dominant of a performance in some time. A couple. I mean, they beat the Lancers that one time, 6-2. to two. Is this one a block shot from Emerson? But the point is, is it's not just the score of the board that matters, obviously, this group. It's how they conduct their play and the consistency of it and the compete level. Again, are we going to see that compete tomorrow afternoon against the best team in the Eastern Conference? It's a really barometer type of game for the Chicago Steel. Like, it's amazing how, you know, you've been kind of just quenching for a game like this and regardless if you win or lose, you're back at it tomorrow, and every game's bigger than the next. But for the Chicago Steel tonight, I really thought they made a statement game in this one against the Rough Riders, putting them in their place right now. But they got to do the rest down the stretch, and you do it one game at a time. Well, now Resendez to Slezik through traffic. Sigurdsson, no rebound on the shot from the left side toward the point. And he'll absorb shot number 16 of the evening. 5-0 steal, 2.29 in regulation. And 
that's all I'll say about that. But very proud of this group because, you know, is I – it's funny, people asking me before the game, what do you think? What do you think? I'm like, oh, I don't know. That's why I do this for a, li- <laughs> for a living because it's so fun. You never know what you're going to get. But I was not thinking this type of performance. And just having said that, you go tomorrow, and we'll see how that consistency and that compete will show up. Dubuque, they, they've got a thing for the steal, at least in the regular season. And they're the number one team in the East for a lot of reasons as Del Greco here takes a shot defensively. By Slezik. Najibi ahead. Johnson finds the seam. Top of the slot. He'll coast a play. And a big stop there from Resendez by Sigurdsson. Slezik left point fires. Blocked by Slipic. Del Greco tying up. We'll just snake the puck back to the red line. Two minute warning from Fox Valley Ice Arena. 5 0 Chicago. Here in the third. Resendez. Nice puck protection. Wants Yurichuk disrupting in the neutral zone. And now Reiniger and Yurichuk exchange places. Well, one thing for the Rough Riders, and I didn't see the number on the suspension for Grable, but, you know, he's out of the lineup tonight. He's probably one of their biggest guys, at least in terms of minutes. Definitely in the penalty box. There's 143 of them, second in the league. But he adds that chippiness factor and that edge, the Rough Riders, their identity really hones in on as Ben Wilmon here on the four check with Cardelli, the hard knocks line. But it's Arneson disrupting that motto. Arneson, a rookie last year. Good to see Brady out here. He took a huge reverse check and was down as Wilmon. A great stop on the left pad. Norton's battled all night. He's actually played a great game. And that's how dominated the steel bit. I mean, this kid... Really taking a lot of heat, but he had no help from him. The steal just all over it tonight with under a minute to play. 45 seconds and ticking as Tobias Oman gets a bear hug into the boards. O'Connell the other way until Oman picked it off for Arneson. Fires fought off Norton. That's at least shot 28 for Chicago. Save 23 for Mr. Norton. 28 seconds to go as Quinn Sigurdsson so calm as always in his net. He can feel it. He can sense it. 20 seconds for the steel rookie netminder. Defensive zone on the Rough Riders. Slezik slowly to all Vemney. Tailed off by Sachin. And he'll beak the puck into the Rough Riders zone. It'll slap down and Slezik looks at the clock. Quinton Sigurdsson says, Buenas noches. First career. The United States Hockey League shut out the steel. Good night, Rough Riders win at 5 0. And they gain two enormous points in the Eastern Conference standings over their Eastern Conference foe tonight. Steel win the season series 3 to 1. Boy, wonder if Carl Popper gets the, the post game interview here because I'll tell you what. As the fellas here on Military Appreciation Night salute the Fox Valley faithful. Carl, oh, he's calling for the biscuit here. He wants the puck for Quentin Sigurdsson, his first career shutout. And the steal, a 5 nothing win. Man, that was just a thing of beauty. That hockey game was the prettiest of all year. And he saved it at the most opportune time, as I said here in the conclusion of this hockey game. What are you going to bring tomorrow? For me, you got to take what you had here tonight and right the consistency. What can you do tomorrow to better yourself? Because that was a picture-perfect game for the Chicago Steel. Puck drop to finish, play in the body. The boys of faith leading the way again. Michael Hage is 31st of the year at 4:14. The first major in Thompson, the helpers. It was actually a shot that went off a couple of posts. We played on for at least three minutes. But Hage, he said it was in, he called it. I even said, I don't think so, kid. <laughs> Mississauga Snake, I hit off a couple of posts. But no, he's right, and they went back, and so, because I thought that that was one of the pockets. I thought the Rough Riders really had their best play. It was was the clock, it didn't count. They just It was a good start, both teams back and forth feeling each other out but it was a tight game to steal 
in those battle areas. But they get that huge goal. As Hage is named the third star of the game, Mick Thompson, his first of two for Major and Hage to set the tone at 8.30 in the second. This was a battle won by Hage away from the puck, who found Major. Hage was double teamed, base of the right circle, and then Major was denied. Thompson scores the wide open on the rebound. Sigurdsson, the number two star of the night. And then Thompson on the power play. Steal two power play chances, two power play goals. A face-off win, and they don't count an assist to Yurichuk, but he made all the plays to make it an assist in front of the net, and even before that, had a great pass to find Hage, who was denied in Titan on the scraps. The puck off a Rough Rider defenseman right to Thompson in the wide open net. Made it three to nothing, Chicago, but just you get the power play going. You get the five on five going, and the Chick-fil-A score four goal. Page on the one-timer in the power play was tipped by Emerson his seventh of the year for the Gazelle. Page's is third point of the night. Michael Hagen's his 25 assists on the power play, 13 of four of the seconds. Made it four to nothing steal. And then Hudson Gorski, a phenomenally crafted, beautiful goal from Bufflin and Omen. In the second, the steal shut down the third and win it five nothing final shot totals 29-17. You enjoy this one tonight, and you bring that same exact level right tomorrow, which in hockey, it's hard to do, especially against the number one team in the Eastern Conference. But for my post-game question, it's going to be, this is, again, this is the barometer of the Eastern Conference. So for the Chicago Steel, what kind of standards are they going to have? And I don't want them to say what we did tonight because it was a thing of beauty, but it's easy to say another hard thing to do. I can't wait for tomorrow. 305 Central against the Dubuque Fighting Saints. Rough Riders in action against the Gamblers for more redemption. They've had a tough go so far this weekend, but again, one more game, and you know, the Rough Riders are just two points away again. That's, it's just, it's that close, folks. There's too much time left in the year. And with seven games to go for the Chicago Steel, they make a statement tonight and win it 5 0 against the team that's right beneath them. And the Rough Riders, they gain a little bit of cushion tonight, but. Steel 5, Rough Riders nothing, folks. We hope you enjoyed this broadcast here this evening from the Fox Valley Ice Arena. Steel tomorrow, 2.55 pregame show for the matchup against the Dubuque Fighting Saints. For Mark Citron, Chicago Steel, we thank you so much for tuning in this one this evening. Be safe, everybody. Good night.